Hi guys, in the last video, we did calculations and subqueries. And what we had, we had an inner or base data query, which did some foundational calculations. And then based on these calculations, we had done an outer query, which used those inner query calculations to do some further calculations. And that's what we got here. And now I would like to add some further fields to that. One is here, I would like to have the following. And I'm just going to add that. Let's let me copy that, paste it here. I would like to have the daily proteins, the daily protein intake of each person in grams. And that's based on the weight of the person um, uh, times, times two. So that's one field I would like to add. And then here at the top, I would like to add uh, further fields for us to see. And that would be, uh, first of all, the daily calories. The daily proteins. And yeah, that's it. Right, and if I run that, so we now have, we can now see the ideal weight, daily proteins, uh, daily calories, sorry, and the daily proteins. Right, so now I have a small problem which, which bothers me and it is this here. I personally don't like using constants in code because what I noticed is that constants are not that constant. And uh, with S if I had, if I had, if I was an SQL server, uh, I could declare variables like you know, like this, and then daily cal calorie or cal intake per kilogram, and that is would be let's say um, an int. And that would be equal to 30. I could do that. And the same thing I could do with the proteins, uh, which would be then daily prot intake per kilogram. I will set that to two. And then what you could do, you could then copy that and use that instead of that 30 in here. And you copy this one and you use that instead of the two in here. So and then you can just paste these variables wherever you want in your code as often as you want and you just change the numbers up here. That luxury you have in SQL Server. Now you don't have that luxury here in, in, uh, in Postgres or let, let me put it this way, you cannot emulate that very, or, or uh, do that very, very, very easily. Uh, but there's another way of doing it. There are multiple ways of doing it or uh, sort of emulating that. And one way of doing it is just create a view. And the way that works is the following. I just enhance my code with a view. So I create or replace and then view. What do I call this view? I call it, let me call it global factors and as, and now this view would be select. And here, now I put in my constants. The first would be the 30 as, and uh, let me call it cal per day per kg. And the second one would be uh, two as, uh, and then call that prot for proteins per day per uh, kilogram and that query is based on the same table we are basing our inner query uh, we use the data so from uh, user data and that would be the view and now let me let me just test something uh, let's comment all of that out uh, and let's just create that view. 
So if I create that view, so the view is successfully created. Let me just expand that a bit. And uh, here we are, views. And if I just refresh, I have my global factors. And uh, global factors looks like this. Let me just comment this one out as well. And let's go select everything from uh, global factors. And query looks like that. So we have three users in that table and every user has then calories per, per, per day and so many proteins per day, so many proteins per day per kilogram. So that query looks like that. Uh, I don't need that window anymore. Just let me decrease that. So, right. So uh, uh, the view is there. So let me just take that off again. Let's, uh, let me just select all and uncomment it and right. So now we have our view and what we, what I do now is basically go down here where the 30 is and do the following. Well, let's select 30 and then what I do, remove it. And what I do is select distinct and then let me copy the field from the top so I don't have a type or something copy uh, here from global factors and Let's put that all in a param. So that's the whole thing. And then cast it as uh, an int. Right. So what I did here, I did select distinct from our view. And the, why I did uh, select distinct, because you remember with select, I get uh, I get the calories, I mean, as often as I have users, I just want the calories once. So I select this thing, I just get the 30 once. And that is, that is the whole, that's the whole point of that. And if I try that now, if I try that, uh, have I done a mistake? Oh, I, this, I sh this should be, this is actually a comment. Uh, let me just, right. Okay, so now you see here, I have my daily calories are based on what I did in the view. And now if I change that, let's say to 25, then the numbers change accordingly. And you can see here, now we're much lower numbers. And if I take it to, let's, let's go radical, let's say 50 calories a day. And if I run that, and you see now the calories have gone up. Right. And the same thing I can do with, uh, you know, the proteins. And basically just copy that, paste it in here, and just say prot per day. And run that. And now I can, you know, also play around with the proteins. Maybe two is a bit over the top. Put 1.5. And I have to pay attention here. This should be a float because if I'm going to play with 1.5 and so, and that would go. And you see now, it's very easy to change stuff. And I can use that instead of using a variable like an SQL server at whatever, I can use this line and basically paste that everywhere. Slight difference. And the nice thing about this, this view is just getting created every time I run this query and it gets created or replaced. So nobody else uses that view but this query. And the view doesn't cost you anything. It's just a view based on a table. It doesn't cost you any memory or anything. So that's one way of doing that kind of, that kind of stuff. Um, another way is basically to use a table. It is not much different than here and uh, but it's basically the same principle so this is this is now <clears throat> this is now i created a table called global factors t and uh, got the same stuff here 
and basically did the same thing here. So it is uh, no no big deal. If you have that table as, as always there, what you can have is basically then update uh, an update uh, statement instead of an insert statement to modify the values. I mean, in my personal opinion, the, the option with the view, the previous option with the view is my favorite because it's very simple and does not necessitate, necessitate you know, doesn't require you to, to, to use a table and doesn't use any memory and it's very easy to modify and it's just the view is just, you know, um, belongs to this query. Whereas this table now, um, you know, if I need to uh, add things or if I need to run that query again, I need to now, because I created that table, I need to here say drop, you know, table, um, you know, global uh, public, just drop that. And then I have to create it again. And basically in this time, I just say, you know, uh, let's do this 25 and 1.5. And uh, yeah, and now if I run that, that should work again. Uh, oh, I forgot the semicolon, right? And now that works again. So I have here, this method works the same way as before with the view, but now what I'm doing here, I'm dropping the table, the initial table and creating a new table and then inserting. So, um, you can also have the table, you can also have that code without dropping the table. I mean, you don't drop the table, but have an update statement here where you update the values based on what you need. So, you know, with the table, this becomes a bit, um, yeah, I don't know. And then again, if the table doesn't exist or exists, you know, you'd have to have some conditions here, which is not that simple in Postgres. So my personal view, my personal opinion is stick with the view option. You have it much easier and uh, it's very easy to modify. And the view is basically just belongs to that uh, query. And with a table, it becomes more complex. Let me get that uh, other query in with the view. You see here, it's very, it's just, it's very simple, just a couple of lines. And also here, it's very simple. Uh, you know, just a simple statement. You don't have to watch out whether the view is created or not. You know, it's getting replaced. Every time you call the query, the old view, whatever you did previously gets replaced with this new view and with the values that you inserted. The view doesn't cost you anything. So uh, that's one way of, or, or those are the ways to, uh, you know, have that capability of using variables in with database engines which do not have that which, which do not allow you to set variables the way sql server does and uh, i'm sure that works with every database engine because this is pure sql